Great to have your company here on finals day. The Corona Barley Protected is back underway with quarterfinal heat one for the men. About to kick off, Michael Rodriguez taking on Wade Carmichael. And what a heat this is going to be. Two very different approaches. Ronnie Blakey with Luke Egan. Luke, what's going to win today? Is it going to be that full rail approach of Carmichael? Or is the dynamic, explosive surfing out of the lip of Michael Rodriguez going to win through? Something happening here. Michael having a look at an insider. This thing's starting to bowl out. But he's going to stick to the face. Drives up into this first section. Blows that tail free. Banking again, just trying to get something on the board here. Nice float to finish. And Michael Rodriguez is going to take the early lead. Look at this, just hammering the first turn into a layback snap. Comes around, maybe lost the potential of a big lip hit for the second turn, but coming around with a nice float to finish it off. Intentions are clear here for Rodriguez. Bang, out of the lip into a layback snap. Maybe missed that lip just there because it took him a while to recover from that turn. Comes in and makes sure he finishes it off with a great float on the inside reef. This turn here just into the lip. Fins coming loose. Manages to hold on. Just here maybe left himself a little bit short to hit the lip just in front of him there. Comes around and regains though and gets a nice snap and sets himself up for a really nice float to the inside. Karamas, as we know and love it, look at that. No back on that one, pulling into the pit. Just a little bit too deep, about a board length and a half too deep. See those ones that have got that thick back on it? You always know they're going to barrel when they look like that. Coming through and I'd say, I'd say a board length and uh, just be patient. For me, he might be a little bit too deep on the reef at the moment should maybe with priority move a little bit further to the shoulder just so he can get into these waves. Here at Karamas you've got to be really careful not being too far up the reef. It's a catch 22 as we see he's getting his first wave. Well, wave waiting some time for this first ride. Halfway through the heat before he gets his opening wave. Used his priority on this one. And it's going to be interesting to see whether this is going to match Michael Rodriguez's 4.83. Didn't really have that, that one individual moment with such a bang. Yeah, still a smart move, getting himself up and riding. He's running out of time. Couple of nice turns there. Wave not really offering too much on the inside. What can we expect to see from Michael Rodriguez in the future? Because it seems like he's got more to give. Well, we're going to see Wade right here trying to catch these little deep ones. As you can see that, what we were talking about, it's shutting down. But, you know, Michael Rodriguez, I think we saw it. I mean, he's really quick in, in the lip. Wade Carmichael, but during the break, Luke, uh, Wade tapped into this one. Yeah, good looking inside. Wade hacks it out of the top, comes around. Ah, big angry turn to finish off. Really sunk the rail in on that last ride. Without priority, takes the first wave in the set, has a good look at it. Nothing much uh, eventuating down the line, so he kicks out. But Michael can hold a, an advantage with the high-risk surfing that he's able to do. At the moment, back in second spot. Only needs a 2.61. You see Carmichael having another look. Stalking the inside here. The Australian just having a look at everything at the moment. But I've heard you say it, Luke. There's a, there's a gamble in taking these smaller rides as well. About comparisons for the judges. They gave Michael Rodriguez a 4 8 3. Probably needed to be close to a two point spread. As we see, the Brazilian taking off here from Florinopolis. Tucking in, finding some cover. Pushes through the curtain. Now out onto the open face. Nice little carve. He's committed to this end section. Huge float. Looked like his back foot almost slipped off there. And he needed to stick that move or he was going to hit Reef. No backdoor attempt, but he doesn't go into it, which was so smart because of Clamp pulling around and getting in the tube, coming around. Already got a little bit hung up on that turn, but look at this float, a commitment to dry Reef right there. He had to make it or he would have been up uh, over the Reef and for sure would have hit it. Very smart there, that section just clamping, no chance of coming through the barrel and pulls into the second part. This turn here lost a little bit of flow through the middle part of it there. But this is committed surfing right here. Look at just below where he is right now. 
look at it just there. It is absolutely dry. He had to make that. They might, might have even furred the top of his fins with that one, but manages to even get around it and flick out. That was pretty impressive. Stock standard floater, but it, it, it's what lies beneath the surface out on the flats there that made that so impressive. Super shallow section. Got a bit more confidence in this ride and starts to really push it. So picking that one off without priority. Praying for a wave to come. He's still sitting pretty much on the top part of the point. Michael um, uh, having a look at an insider there without priority. Nothing out of that ride. Going to put all his effort into. Oh, he's committed. He's going for it. First section standing up nicely. Hammers it in the pocket. Out on the open face. Just a transition carve to set up the inside. Needs to hit this hard. And he does cloud it. Only needs a 3.83 loop. Right, let's have a look at it up and riding. This section committed out of the lip. Just here it goes a little flat, but he gets a pretty good carve done and takes a while to set up the inside. Oh, it's going to be close. The way he would have liked. That might not matter now because Rodriguez is up again. Nice big section. Absolutely lays into it. Very committed. Up into the pocket again. Just a transition turn to get to this section. Going for the victory. Lands the air reverse. And that is a bit more like it. That's going to definitely improve on the 4.1. Here we go. Here's this wave again. Quick down the line, does very well to get around it. Love the commitment into this layback Whoa. snap. This wave fast down the line. Rodriguez managing to get around it and get his turns done. And then on the inside, no fear for the reef and gets a little air reverse to finish. Five seconds to go and Carmichael's going to pick one off here. And this wave's not going to do much for him. So it's all going to hedge on that last exchange. It really does feel like my, Michael Rodriguez is going to improve his heat score total. And I think uh, that was a success of Michael Rodriguez in this heat as they get stuck in the current trying to get around the reef. The feeling here that it, it's going to be enough, but the judges' scores, you can see them starting to come in. And they agree with us, Luke. 5.37, and Michael Rodriguez is into the semifinals for the first time in his career. He's just about to get the news.